Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest Cryptids and Monsters video. Again, a new video based on one of your suggestions. And for this particular cryptid, I'm going to talk about the Ninjen. Ninjen, I hope I'm saying that right. Ninjen, which is one of the more curiouser uh, cryptids that I've chronicled here in my channel. I love the concept of this ninja on the fact that it's apparently only found on very frigid waters. We're talking like the oceans of Antarctica and maybe if you go all the way uh, Southeast Asia, I mean the, where the waters are glacial where they get very cold because of course with the earth being made up of so much water and so much of it uh, while Chronicles is pretty much remains uncharted even more so the more uncharted areas are the ones that have to do a very cold temperature as um, unless you have anybody there living as a nomad um, it remains an area that's almost virtually untouched by humankind so very interesting concept on here and I'll be presenting uh, some of the research some of the info that I found here for everybody so what is a ninja apparently it's a gigantic cryptid said to be about 20 to 30 meters long so this thing is huge uh, very big we're talking almost 100 feet tall and this is a cryptid that lives in the oceans again of Antarctica and southern Asia and the most distinctive feature that it has is that it has a very pale white skin so uh, very unmistakable but at the same time it makes sense considering the area that it's at if it's going to blend within all the arctic waters what better way to do so than to have skin that matches the glaciers surrounding it on there and the way that the ninja has been potted is uh, there have been multiple reports by crew members on whale research ships they have said that they've seen this thing to be completely white in color with an estimated length of 20 to 30 meters they describe these things as being human-like shape um, having legs arms and even five finger hands the thing about the legs though is there's conflict and reports associated with that some people say that the ones that have seen them they see distinctive legs others have said that it actually seems to be more like a mermaid's tail but maybe the fins uh, almost work as legs at the same time so again a little bit of discrepancy when it comes to that particular aspect but in any case um, like you'll see in this picture here you'll see that the ninja um, this is an artist rendition by the way is walking on one of the glaciers so again it could be using its fins uh, it could have like a mermaid like tail but the fins itself can be almost leg like or it could in this case just have legs itself and uh, the only other synonymous item is the creature has a very distinctive face it has eyes and it has a mouth so it's very human like that's the human like portion that comes along on there um, with regards to the ninja, um, most people, it's very rare to find this thing because apparently it spends most of its life underwater and then sometimes it comes up on land probably to hunt or probably just to do something, sunbathe, whatever, regarding those lines. So that's why it has a very uh, rare appearance. Um, the creature also, uh, those that have spotted it, have called it blubbery. Uh, which again makes sense because in order to have a life within the very very cold frigid arctic waters you would have to have uh, gigantic layers of fat just like any seal would just like any whale would and you would have these gigantic layers of fat to keep it warm on there people that have seen it have also said that it has hands actual hands like we're talking arms and hands on there that it uses to move around the ocean and in some cases actually has also fingers that it works with on there too now where exactly has this particular cryptid been seen um, again it's been seen in the arctic waters but it's also apparently been seen in the pacific and atlantic oceans and um, with regards to appearances um, it culminated with the the large scale of, of it was that time period when fishermen were hunting whales left and right and that's when this uh, these appearances peaked at that point 
yeah, which again also makes sense because here you have a large number of people suddenly uh, in an area where there normally weren't people before uh, scrounging and looking as much as possible for his, for whales killing thousands and thousands of them and all of a sudden this creature that normally habitated this environment in almost a secluded area now has people there and then that's where these reports come from and uh, it's always the same thing that these big creatures are gigantic they're almost a hundred feet tall on there um, no real reports about any particular ninja by the way attacking anybody on there uh, no real reports about any harm or anything. It seems to be a docile creature of some sort. Um, it's not any creature that is malevol malevolent or teases humans, attacking them, anything like that. No, it just seems to mind its way. And in some cases, um, those that have seen it, if it has seen them, it hasn't taken any action against them. It just seems to just go away on there. So this is a creature that is definitely not one that interacts with human. Um, one of the cool things about one of the observations was apparently it happened uh, from a foreign submarine, no less. Uh, apparently the submarine must have been docked on top of the water and crew members there observed uh, what they initially thought was another submarine, but when they approached, it became clear that this was something else. This was alive. This was not another submarine. And when again, going back to the idea that this creature does not interact with humans, once the uh, this thing, this ninja, discovered this other submarine watching it, it quickly disappeared into the water, and it wasn't seen since on there. Also, what's pretty cool is that with the advent of Google Maps and pretty much every area on Earth essentially becoming a place that by satellite, you, one can see everything on there. There have been several photos of apparent ninjas caught on satellite photos, and you'll see one here, for example. Is this a ninja, or is this more likely uh, the crest of some waves, the foam, creating that image on there? Who knows, it's up to interpretation at that point, um, but it certainly does look like the concept of an engine, and that would be very, very cool if, let's say, some satellite images were able to capture it on there. But sure enough, this this is the cryptid, this is a ninja, uh, one of the more seclusive, reclusive uh, cryptids that are out there. Um, let me know, please, if anyone knows anybody that has stories related to this creature, post your comments below. Or if anyone has actually experienced it, you know, post your comments below as well. Um, with regards to this creature, most likely, um, I would say that it's, uh, it's, it's probably out there. Again, we have so much of the ocean that goes uncharted. Um, it's, I mean, it's, it's out there on maps, but so much of the ocean has never had a human actually come around on there that something like this could absolutely have existence on there without anybody noticing it except for the occasional blips on there and if somebody has any news related to let's say a corpse, a capture, or anything like that I tried seeing if there was any news related to that but I didn't quite come across it, then please post it below as well, so that way we can all, uh, you know, share in this experience as well too, so, a uh, pretty cool cryptid, not exactly a creepy one, more like a docile one, uh, just, uh, just a creature that happens to just live in the oceans, but still, still a very, very fascinating creature on there, hopefully there is something out there that resembles this fascinating creature, so, alright everybody, thanks again as always, take care, bye.